Welcome to Beside the Burn for Monday the 9th of September. Uh, this past weekend was the air show in Port Rush and Port Stewart. And Saturday was a tremendous day. Weather was good, able to watch everything. Sunday, however, the weather closed in. There was very little visibility. Uh, the air show was delayed getting started. There weren't the same uh, aeroplanes on display. But on Saturday, the show started with the Typhoon Jet. And the Typhoon is... An aircraft that can fly at incredible speed. And the sound of that aircraft as it flew overhead, as it climbed up into the clouds, as you could see the, the afterburners and the, the red glow from the jets at the back, the sound was tremendous. And you could almost feel the sound. You, you, your body w w would almost shake. You could feel the ground moving as the, some of the manoeuvres were pulled by the pilot. Incredibly skilled, being able to climb and dive and swoop and soar and fly upside down and loop the loop. Wonderful to see. But it, it got me thinking and it reminded me of a, a passage in Exodus where God is speaking to Moses and he is asking Moses to lead the people. He's telling Moses uh, how to uh, lead them through the wilderness and into the promised land. And uh, Moses is slightly concerned about what is happening. And he's concerned that he won't be able to lead the people. He won't know what to do. And he wants to make sure that God is going to go with him. Because if God doesn't go with them, then there is no point in Moses leading the people. So in Exodus chapter 33, uh, we read, The Lord replied to Moses, My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Then Moses said to him, If your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. How will anyone know that you are pleased with me and with your people unless you go with us? What else will distinguish me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth? You see, Moses was thinking, look, if God doesn't go with us, we'll be defeated, we'll be destroyed. And when other people look at us, they'll not believe that we have a God that we're trusting in because Unless God goes with us, there's nothing to distinguish us. We as a nation are only special because God is special. So in verse 17 of chapter 33 of Exodus, And the Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing you have asked, because I am pleased with you and I know you by name. Then Moses said, Now show me your glory. Moses needed reassurance. He needed to know that this God who was speaking to him was the great and mighty and glorious God. And so he wanted to see God's power, that God's glory that would lead them and guide them. And the Lord said, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you and I will proclaim my name, the Lord in your presence. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But, he said, you cannot see my face for no one may see me and live. Then the Lord said, there's a place near me where you may stand on a rock. When my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft in the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will remove my hand and you will see my back, but my face must not be seen. And it's that picture of God pushing Moses into the crack and God's glory passing by. And, and Moses standing in the safety of that rock with God's hand over him, you, it, it doesn't say here, but you imagine that there would have been a tremendous sound that 
the the rock would have shaken that God's presence coming past. We, we know in other passages that the, the doorposts of the temple would shake at the glory of the Lord at coming in. And as that plane went past on Saturday and the sound from it and the roar from it and the, the heat from the jets from it, I thought of Moses standing there in that cleft and God's glory hundreds of times, thousands of times greater than a, a man-made jet going past, the glory of God coming past. And this is the God in whom we trust. This is the God who is with us today and tomorrow and the rest of this week. This is the God that we read about in the Bible. This is the God who it is worth trusting in. So today, if you are hesitant, if you are not sure about what is happening or what God wants you to do, just remember the great glory, the majesty, the splendor of God. And how we can't look into his face, but we can just catch a glimpse of him as he passes by. And we know that he will never forsake us. So let's bow together in prayer. Heavenly Father, as Moses asked to see your glory, so Lord, as we read your word, we catch little glimpses of your glory and your splendor and your majesty. Forgive us, Lord, whenever we doubt you. Forgive us, Lord, whenever we think that you have are no longer powerful in this world. But help us to remember, Lord, that you are the same God who appeared to Moses and held him in the cleft of that rock. Help us, Lord, to trust in you today and help us to remember that you are the almighty, the all-powerful, the all-knowing, and the ever-present God. Amen.